Today I am excited to show off CPay, the payment integration by Cayenne or Dynamics 365. It's a fully featured solution covering payments from the back office to the front. It supports MPAWS and Cloud Paws, card on file, GIF, encrypted swipe, EMV, tap and go, so your Apple Pay, Android Pay, Samsung Pay. Also includes full omni-channel capabilities through global tokenization, e-commerce, call center, SOP, accounts receivable. Any sales channel you can think of can easily take advantage of a global token across all the sales channels. So we've got a few different devices to look at with this solution, which makes it pretty nice. We've got the Genius Desktop device by Verifone, full featured, nice, beautiful screen. We also have the Genius Handheld we're going to show off today, which is a wireless payment terminal capable of all the things we talked about. And then last but not least, the Genius Mini which is pretty fantastic. It's a Bluetooth device, supports all these same payment capabilities. I'll go ahead and pull these down so you can see the main device that we'll start with. Let's talk about what we're going to be viewing here today. This uh, laptop has four different VMs running on it. It's got the Dynamics 365 uh, on-premise solution. It's got another VM running MPAWS using the Genius device, the Verifone countertop device. Also got another VM running MPAWS with the Genius handheld, and yet another machine running in pause with the Genius Mini. So we've got the back office, store one, store two, and store three to show off the representative hardware solution with the software. So here is our back office, uh, and just to show you what we're looking at, let's go into some customers here. Let's find a customer uh, that does not have a card on file so we can show off the global tokenization as we go through our process here. All right, now that we can see our list of customers, let's just take a look at Eve. Let's find out if she's got any credit cards on file. And as we can see, she currently does not have any credit cards on file. So we'll use her as our customer example as we go through these different transaction types. Okay, well, let's go to store number one where we are be using the Genius Desktop device. Scan an item onto the sale to go ahead and tender. Click there, tender the credit card. In this case, I'll use an EMV card, so I'm going to go ahead and insert that. You'll notice on the screen it has the line item totals and all that. Recognizes the EMV card. It's going to prompt me for a tip here. I'm going to go ahead and not tip. And all of these test cards want a PIN number, so. I'll be entering the PIN number as we go through these transactions. There, and you can see the solution supports quick chip, so EMV does not have to be slow, and in this solution, it is definitely not. All right, let's take a look at how we can assign a global token to a customer. So first, I'll go in here and add a customer to the sale. Search for Eve, who's going to be our favorite customer of the day. I'll select Eve. Then I'll add her onto the sale. Now what we can do is jump up here and go ahead and click let's put the card on file. You can see she has no cards on file just like in the back office. Let's add a new card. I'll go ahead and insert my EMV card into the bottom of the payment device. Again, no tip. All right, so it's grabbed that card information, and now you can see up here on the screen it's got that card on file for her. So I'll go ahead and quit that screen. Let's go ahead and put some items onto the sale here. Now when we choose t credit card tender, It'll pop up and ask us if we want to use the card on file this time. So we just say yes, use that card on file. It'll go ahead and use that token, process the sale, and boom. Pretty quick, pretty convenient. Pretty great example of how the solution works. All right, let's move over to the store number two. With MPAWS running our genius handheld device. Let's see how that interacts with the solution. So I'll go ahead and 
scan an item onto the sale. As you can see, the handheld device supports line item display as well. I'll go ahead and tender to credit card. So I'll go ahead and put the EMV card in here. You can see that it's processing. Again, it wants the PIN number. There's a PIN number, so it's going to go through its process. And it's done. So even with a wireless device, EMV is very quick, super fast, very capable. Next, let's go ahead and just add a customer and use a card on file for a transaction here in store number two. We'll add our favorite customer of the day, Eve. Now that she's attached to our sale, Go ahead and add an item. Tender to card. Notice as we have a card on file, so we'll go ahead and select that card for use. It processes the transaction, and that fast it's done with a card on file. So pretty exciting. That was our Genius handheld device. Now let's go over to our store number three, which is running our Genius Mini solution. Go ahead and scan an item onto the sale. Tender the card. Go ahead and insert our EMV. And the transaction's finished. So even Bluetooth devices can run EMV very quick. As you can see, that's pretty simple, pretty fantastic. Okay, now that we've done some transactions at store level, let's go to the back office and take a look at how that works. We still have Eve selected, but now when we look at her credit card on file records, you can see that she has a test card on file. So we'll go ahead and use that global token as we create a sales order. We'll create a new sales order. We'll enter E. We can now scan an item onto the sale. From there, let's go ahead and complete this order. We'll add a payment type. We'll choose Visa. From here, if we wanted to, we could add another card. In this case, let's go ahead and use the token we have on file. Now we'll submit. Back to looking at our sales order, but now when we go into the payments area, we can see that it's been authorized. So it's just that simple. Very quick, very easy. Also supports returns and all the functions that people have been requesting and wanting for years. So that is uh, CPay from Cayenne for Dynamics 365. Thank you for taking a look.